Hello again, welcome back to Layers of Fear Inheritance. So let's carry on from where we were last time. Got a little bit confused in places and I completely failed at bring my microphone over so you can hear what I'm saying. Ah, what a good start. Anyway, completely failed to do the piano, even though I figured out how to do it. Never mind, eh? We'll try that again at some point. Maybe if it lets us. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I don't know at all. I'll do. I'm actually using my new phone as a webcam, which is pretty cool. It's in Droid Cam, which is some free software you can download for your PC and obviously your Android phone. And let you use your phone as a webcam, which is actually pretty good. As you can see, the quality is much, much better than the old webcam I used to use. So that's pretty good. Almost there. Up my microphone, so it stops moving. <laughs> right, I have no idea where I'm going and what I'm doing. Must admit, it's all these weird symbols over everything. That's ah, not just symbols; it's musical notes. Where's the music notes? Two different ways. Let's go this way. Those are kind of purpley looking. Wrong one. Hello! Ah, this is where we Yeah, that's what happened just as we stopped, so. Okay! It's so annoying when it goes towards me. Ooh, what's that? I can't tell. Can I go behind there? Oh, God. Doesn't look like a lot in here I can actually do. Globe. Can I spin it? I can't even spin a globe. Hello, baby. Whoa. I didn't expect the train thing to destroy the baby doll. That was weird. Ooh. Whoa. Looked like the guy from Blair Witch then. Carver. Paint stuff. What's behind me? Same thing. Nothing it seems to do with that. Let's just go this way. Now it's all melting away and burn. Right, so that's fire again. Hmm. Smashed my head into the wall of a new. Ow! Oh! Hey, Princess. I didn't know you were out here. No, no, it's all right. Daddy just tripped. You know, clumsy old peg leg. Clumsy old peg leg. There, there. You don't need to worry. Daddy's just telling That's dark, but I haven't been this way. This was the way I was trying to go. Let's go this way then. What's that? Dinner. Oh, this view is so bizarre. That something? No. Ooh. Weird. Have to 
tell what those markings are meaning. Ooh, can I go that way? Go that way. Weird shadows. Weird everything in this place. Yay! Spin! And spin the other way. Oh boy, okay. What's that noise? Some kind of ratchet or something. <laughs> downstairs we go into the creepy downstairs. I really wish I had that torch. Make life a lot easier to see what's going on. Well, I can't see what's in there. This is so dark. Yeah. I went around and around. Let's keep going around here a minute, because that was weird. We went downstairs to go downstairs. Ooh, so I missed. Ooh, part of a drawing of maybe a child. Not entirely sure. It's kind of what it looked like to me. Curtains. I'm going downstairs again because that was weird that we went downstairs and down again and ended up in the same place. How do we go down two flights of stairs and end up in the same place again? Oh, well, that's different. Weird. Ooh. Hello, Globy. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, hello. Do you want to play ball? That's somebody else. Oh, just a plant. Can I have the ball? Another ball? No, I guess not. Ooh. Oh, I can actually pull the painting down. Ooh. Clue, 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 clue. That's two parts of the picture. Can I now climb up on that? Oh, I tried and destroyed the place a little bit. Oh, there's this little thing in the corner. Like an owl or something. Oopsies. I broke it. Broken. Alright, let's go back downstairs again. And around the corner and down the stairs. And the room will change again. Or we're we'll going somewhere else. I don't know. We will find out shortly. Oh, that's not so good. Ah, now it's on fire. Ooh. Am I in a globy globe? <clears throat> okay. Not much I can interact with, though, is there? Candle at least. Can I get the candle? Oh, that looks like the drawing. A little bit. Where'd that paper go? That's the rest of the drawing, is it? One more piece. Alright, round we go again then. Round, round. 
Get dizzy doing this. Do 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 do. Pity there's not a button. Be a lot quicker if I could run around. Ooh, this is different. Oh, we're in the basement. It's hard to tell where we are. I'm assuming it's the basement. Just because there's barrels and storage stuff. So maybe basement, maybe not. I don't know. Sounds like fire still. Oh, oh, well, that's weird. Is that my shadow? strange okay good if I could actually see where I was going though wouldn't it that's not my shadow it's like somebody's been burned on there like an Iron Man free I'm not sure if going up is the right thing to do, but I don't know where else to go. If this is the fiery room again, where I knocked a bit of wall over and stuff, then I know I'm doing the wrong. There it is. I must have missed something, I'm guessing. Unless I, yeah. Right, let's go back then, just in case I missed something. On the fireplace? No, I can't. Okay. Back down to death and see if we missed anything. It's really dark. Dark and kind of hazy. Like the contrast is set too high or something. It's just kind of all washed out looking. So let's follow the wall, since I can't actually see where I'm going. It's just that again. Am I missing something in here? Green stitch. Hmm. I don't seem to be missing anything. Close the door or something. I don't know. Nope, don't seem to be anything else. Okay, I can hear the fire, but I can't interact with any rooms that will take me near it. So I'm guessing I can go back up then. That's all I can do. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, there's definitely nothing else in here as far as I can see. Back we go then. Up, 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 up. up we go, up we go, back around and up again. Check around here first, just in case. No, just a candlestick. So there's one more piece to get. Round and round and round we go again. Hmm. Ooh, this is different. That was right then. Ooh, different place. Ooh, there's all the picture. Oh, hey there, young lady. 
Shouldn't you be in bed? Careful, there's it's no all right. Like you can stay. Mm. Just don't make too much noise. Daddy's working. She's got one eye bigger than the other. What do you mean, who's that? It's Mommy. What? That's not what Mommy looks like? Well, she does to me. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. This isn't going to be a very nice room. There's flies and... Uh, need to clean, mate. This place is awful. Between there. Damn. Locked. That's the first locked item I've seen today. Maybe there's a key somewhere. Grounds work. Lovely. Okay, time to be very careful. Oh great, there's a little bit creepy baby doll waving me over going, Come with me, come with me. Yeah, that's a good idea. Always follow the creepy baby dolls. Okay, and then up the drawers. Creepy noises. Can't get the what are you find so funny? Because now I can't go past. Where am I supposed to go then? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I thought Freddy Fazbear was back. Happy birthday, dear. I don't have a name. They don't know because they stole me. I guess I can't go any further then. Can I? Oh, I can. Just about squeeze past. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess it's that way I'm going. Hmm, somebody knocked over the apples. Do you like them apples? Because I'm not sure. Hey, creepy baby. Where am I supposed to go? I want, to, I want to crayons. Honey, you have to come out. She's waiting for us. Don't make me do this by myself. No, I don't want her to see me like this. I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I can't. Weird. The perspective on this is really, 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 really freaky. I don't even know if it is possible to fall, but I'm not going to risk it anyway. Oh, this will be a fun one, right? Alright. It makes you go really slow across it so you can't fall. That's interesting. Oh, another cakey cake for me! Happy birthday to me, what the hell? Why would you do this? 
What am I supposed to do now? I can't do this without you. Well, his wife died then, I guess. It is gone. It's only getting shorter. Hey, Mr. Wolf, why, what big ears you've got. Oh. I, I can't see if there's a floor or not. Oh, creepy baby doll. I just keep falling. I can't actually do anything at the moment, I just keep falling. Doggy! Come here, doggy. Hello, doggy. No. Okay. What was that? Oh, no. Honey, I, I need you. I need my medicine. Can't tell oh, what it please. Is. It hurts so much. <laughs> Why won't you help me? Why are you punishing me like this? Whatever mm. I did, I'm sorry. Not sure what that is. Now where do I go? Beyond the sofa? This is so difficult to tell what's going on. I'll pick the right way though. Good for me. That's two different ways I can go. Ooh. Oh, there's the boxes. What's in here? Happy family! Which obviously it wasn't. I know what I gotta do. Very, very carefully. No one doing that wrong. Oh, I need a gear for something. No clue what. I haven't found anything that needed a gear. But, oh well. So go to the other room then. Ooh. Freaky pain in. Hello oh, kitty. Oh, you lost your wheels. Ah. You got a new wheel. Oh. That didn't work, did it? Poor kitty kitty. I need to find your other wheel. Where's your wheel, I wonder? No, I want to go that way. Oh, what happened? I'm on my side. Okay, I guess I can't go that way then. Where I wonder do I find the cat's over wheel? I want to help the kitty cat. It is sound so cute, but I can't. So let's go to the other room. Maybe. Maybe I can't. I'm sorry, Kitty. I don't know where your wheel is. 
but that's just going to knock me out again, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so where was the other door? I'm sure it was that way. Reflection. Oh, freaky painting. Yeah, the cog's gone. I can't use the cog anymore. What do I can for? Good to know. I don't know what happened to the cog when I placed it on the cat. It flew off. I'm not entirely sure where it went. Yeah, I can't go that way yet. Where's the door? Yeah, there it is. So, yeah, I was right. Okay, so what now? What am I not seeing? What am I missing? Ooh. Wheelie wheelie. How get up there do I? Is there another way I can... Got one up in up here. Hey, hey, kitty, kitty, come to fix you. Yay, pretty kitty. Now I can follow the kitty through the weird door. Or through the hallway. Whoa. Alright, I'm staying with you. I'm not going anywhere. You seem to have a barrier of light around you. To you? It's not very nice. At least you can still feel something. I look at you and I see nothing. Not the beautiful girl I fell in love with. Not the mother of my child. Not even the hateful monster you pretend to be. You're just empty. I look at you and I feel nothing. It scares the hell out of me. You forgot to say how hideous I am. God, I know you want to. God, not that again. Uh -huh. I know you're disgusted with me. Admit it. What happened to her? Did she get attacked by the dog? Right, I am disgusted with you, but it has nothing to do with the way you look. I'm disgusted with what you let it do to you, how you let it change you. Oh, little baby kitties. Yay, all reunited. I can't follow the kitty. That's not fair. Not fair at all. Princess. Princess, wake up. I need you to get dressed real quick. There are men coming. Some very bad men. Bad they want to take you away from me. I won't let them. We won't let them, will we? Oh, back to... I would say reality, yes. but... now I remember. Throughout all the chaos and misery, in his own flawed and misguided way, he did love her after all. His way of expressing it was a different matter altogether. I recognize that voice. Last will and testament. I, grasping at the reins of my sanity, declare this to be my last will and testament. I hereby deem all my previous wills just as worthless as the shallow husks calling themselves my friends and associates to my agent, Thomas Cadwell. I bestow the hellish vermin that infest my home, praying that they will gnaw away at him endlessly, bleeding him dry just like he did to me. 
to my publisher, Liam Brickstone, I bequeath the flames that consumed the love of my life, in hope they will devour him along with the wretched whore and the squeaking bastard he calls his family. To my lawyer, James Jones Sadler, I pass on whatever illness has rotted my mind and soul, a way that he can feel just as empty and useless as he was to me. To any other parasites that come crawling out of the woodwork, I leave nothing. To hell with all of you. Finally, to my beloved daughter. I leave all my earthly possessions, for what they're worth. I hope they will inspire you to realise your true potential. The final, most precious gift, however, is not mine to give you. You will have to discover that on your own. I believe in you, as I always have. Hmm... That one. Nothing in that one. Nope. Nothing in there. Hey, right, the phone's all melted still. That's cool. Alright. Oh, yeah, the weird fairy person picture. Remember that from the old game. Do do do. Oh, can't go that way this time. I thought that was just the draw. Okay. So, thing. Nothing else on there. Make sure there's nothing else I can do. It's time to leave this room. Get my torch back at least. Did I go this way? No, I didn't. Oh, room with all the paintings. So his wife, I think. Oh yeah, I'm not around to that. Probably should get that with the dog. I'm not sure. She died in the fire. What we assume. What's that connected to? Oh, it's just chandelier. Okay. Do 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 My bedroom. Oh. The daughter's bedroom. Yeah, I thought it would. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, young lady. Shall we continue? No. Nah. Right. Whatever happens, just keep looking at me and listen. Where was it? Ah, yes. The princess was all alone in the dark. And yet, she felt... <clears throat> okay. I'll keep looking at you then. And yet, she felt that the evil witch was lurking... Princess! Keep looking at me! I don't wanna. And yet, she felt that the evil witch was lurking the nearby. Evil witch. As her eyes adjusted oh. to the darkness... She saw something moving in the corner of her eye. And yet, she did not dare to move. For she knew that that would be the end of her. The princess heard a fearsome growl. The witch had unleashed her... I'm trying. It keeps moving. It's not me. I'm not moving it. See? I'm not doing anything. The princess moved. The growl got louder. The witch had unleashed her familiar the hellhound hellhound the mm -hmm. monster sniffed at the air its perky ears wary of even the slightest sound the princess remained motionless letting the monster pass there was a stillness in the air the princess breathed a sigh of relief what for a moment it seemed like the worst was behind her and yet she knew that it was not over. There was still danger nearby. No, Waiting for I'm not looking. Move. Frozen in terror, she kept looking straight ahead. Suddenly, 
she heard a terrifying cackle. It was the evil witch herself. The wretched thing despised beauty and innocence, for she had neither. Sorry, focus. The hag was near, just outside of view. But our heroine didn't dare to look. She had to keep her head straight, lest she be cursed by the witch's. So we have a jump scare in a minute, now. She could almost feel the chilling touch of the witch's hand at her neck. She felt the sudden urge to. <sighs> she felt the sudden urge to run away, but fought it with all her will, for she knew that was precisely what the witch would have wanted. And then, have to keep just like that, moving, so the chill was gone. It keeps moving away. She saw a glimmer of light over the horizon. The sun was almost upon her. It was almost dawn. It was almost over. And there. The princess stood triumphant in the sun, smiling as she... Wait. That's not right. Her face. Why is she still... scared? Because of you. Oh, God. I didn't mean to... Princess, I am so sorry. You're a freak, mate. Trophy earned. It's not that he was boss. cruel. It's just that, to him, reality was just a pale reflection of art. He was blind to the world, unless it was translated to him through a canvas. Hmm. Oh, wanna? Oh, that's a weird sound in my one ear. It was just a bumbling sound in my one ear. Right, I'm going to leave it there. It's been half an hour, so that's good enough. It's getting kind of interesting. We're finding more about the guy's madness and what happened to him and why he was so strange in the first one when we were investigating him. So, hmm, interesting. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Please come back and see me again soon. Bye-bye for now.